Hi, I'm Chef Kurt Fleischpresser, and today we're at the Tasting Room in Oklahoma City, and I'm with Trey Ferguson from Cool Greens. And the Oklahoma Cattle Women's Association had their first annual Iron Chef competition, and Trey was the winner. Congratulations. Thank you. And for the final heat, you had a 200 calorie chef's requested steak as the protein, and then you got a mixed bag of made in Oklahoma products? That's correct. Excellent, excellent. So what did you come up with? Uh, what I came up with was a kind of a play on a Mexican sandwich, a torta, um, using a flatbread, which is the tortillas, which is a local uh, product. Um, the first thing I did was I started cutting tortillas. Um, I grabbed the tortillas. I actually had this cup. You could use a whatever, you know. You uh, expensive a cutter you want. Expensive a cutter, cookie cutter, whatever you want. But you just press down on it and give it a turn, and then it just kind of comes right out. You bake that in an oven with no oil or anything, about 375 until they that come up true. nice and crispy. Yeah. You got a nice crispy chip. Looks good. Uh, the second move I did was I grabbed the, the, the meat and I noticed that it was, had a lot of connective tissue in it and stuff, so I actually brought a, what's known as a jacquard. Mm -hmm. This is a meat tenderizer. Yeah, I use that to rep reprehend the apprentices, as you well know, <laughs> coming from the coach house. <laughs> yeah. It was a, Happened more than once, I think. Well, this also helps it takes the marinade a little bit better, too. So. It will. The marinade will take better. All right, at this point, I went ahead and grabbed the jalapeno mu mustard by Griffin's and just rubbed the steak with it. It used to be, you know, you get just because it's made in Oklahoma, it didn't mean it was good. Now we got a lot of great ingredients. I agree. This, this, these ingredients that we got to use today were of the finest quality. And then I started all my sauces. Excellent. Um, the first sauce we did was a caramelized onion and barbecue sauce. So we added a, I added a touch of the Head Country barbecue sauce, which is my all-time number one favorite barbecue sauce. Mine too, the hickory it is, especially. It is so good. We go ahead and uh, create the slaw that we uh, served okay. on it, which is tomatoes, green apple, uh, red onion, and carrot. All right, the beef, go ahead and season it. Ground pepper. Can never go wrong with that. It's looking good. Put that down. You want to be patient, let it caramelize. So I think that's good. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and move on. Mm -hmm. So you have your steak. You let it rest a minute. Yeah. Cut the steak really nice and thin. Lay down about three slices on each tortilla. And then a little bit of the caramelized onions on the side, on the other side. Just use this spoon. That gives you that sweet barbecue flavor. Excellent. So Trey Ferguson, winner of the Iron Chef, Oklahoma Cattle Women's Association, using Made in Oklahoma products. Looks like you did really good there, Trey. Thank you. And if you want the recipes, you can go to the website, the MIO Coalition, and uh, we've got websites, where to get the products and everything else. Trey, thanks. It looks great. Congratulations. Appreciate it. And remember, when it's made in Oklahoma, it's good for you, and it's good for Oklahoma. <laughs>